Welcome back. Let's talk about energy today. Energy usually does not stay still. It goes in one direction or the other. In your life, there are things that make you feel better and things that make you feel worse. There are things that give you energy and things that take energy away. And one of the biggest things that you can do to give yourself energy or take energy away, and this is something that everybody does every day, all day long, and it's all determined by how you look at life. And that is, well, the way you look at life, that's it. What you, how you see life makes you, it's a filter that either gives you energy or takes energy away. And I see this all the time. And I, 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 it's just so important that I have to bring this up. A lot of people, in fact, most people are programmed to complain. They don't know it. They don't realize it, but they look at everything that they see in life. They have to, and, and I know I'm telling you where this is coming from. It's, I call it the bar mentality. The people who don't get very far in life, this is the way they think. The people who are successful in life, they do the opposite. And I'm going to explain why and how. And I think one of the reasons where it comes from, where you complain, it's a way to be accepted. It's a way to be fit in, to be, to, to seem relevant to the people around you. You want to be accepted as part of the group. And I call it the bar mentality. Yeah. Yeah. Government sucks. Yeah. 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 Government sucks. Yeah. Yeah. The economy sucks. Yeah. The economy sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Economy sucks. Yeah. What about that weather, huh? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, the weather, yeah, sucks, yeah, yeah, yeah. People want to say something that they think other people around them are experiencing also, and they want to be, oh yeah, right, we agree with you, that sucks, we're going through this together, glad you acknowledge that, you're one of us now because you acknowledge that we're going through this terrible thing together. And that's why people do that, because it's not necessarily because it really is a big issue with them, they're, they're doing it because they just want to say something that makes people like them, make them accept them, make them accepted into the group. Well, that group you're being accepted into, it's a group that's always going to complain about stuff. And like I said in another video, the more you complain about things, the more you attract things to complain about. It's an energy. You attract more things. It's a negative energy. And something I noticed, and I, I'm sure you do too, that the minute somebody complains, you feel energy being drained out of your body. You just feel like, you're right? And when you're with somebody that everything they do is a complaint of some kind. Oh, the air conditioning's too cold. Oh, the traffic's too loud. Oh, the internet this. Oh, that person over there. Look at how they're dressed. Oh, look at that. It's too loud in here. It's some, what's that smell? You know, like everything they say is a freaking complaint. And you just feel your energy being drained more and more and more every time they open their mouth. And then there's people once in a while that you come across, everything they say, they look at, wow, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, imagine the, the wonderful life. They find something nice to say about everything. And you want to be around these people because they give you energy. They make you feel good. You just feel the energy. When somebody compliments you, you just feel energy being the instant energy. Like you got a new battery. Well, it's not just compliments aimed at you. It's compliments about anything. Anybody that looks at life in a positive way, if you're around them, you feel energy just being built up. If you're around people that are complaining and just always finding something bad to say about something, you feel your energy being drained. Successful people know that they need to look at life in a positive way. They need to see potential in everything. They see, they see, and they're excited by the challenge. Sure, everybody goes through, I've said this before, everybody goes through the same amount of challenges. The rich go through just as many challenges as the poor. And again, this is not a money issue. This is a life issue. This is like making it in anything. Success to me is freedom to be yourself and to not have terrible things happen to you. Now, thing is, things happen. They do happen to everybody. The difference is how you treat that issue. A successful person will look at what other people would see as an unfortunate situation and go, Hmm, how can I use this to my advantage? That's interesting. What can I do to make that not happen again? Or whatever it is, they find a creative solution to the problem or their mind starts thinking. They're constantly thinking creatively how they can overcome situations. And when they do, they feel like they've accomplished something. It gives you a sense of accomplishment. It makes you feel better. It's just the self-perpetuating positive energy flow. Whereas when you're negative, nothing uh, constructive comes out of that. Just destructive energy and everybody around you, like a person that's at a restaurant, right? They're really loud and they're complaining. 
you just feel your energy being sucked. You're, and, and you don't want to be around that person. You want to be moved to another table. That's life. You're, you're in line at, 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 a, at a checkout stand and somebody's there complaining about something. You just go to another line because you don't want to be there around that person. You just feel your energy being, being drained. So in order to get further in life, the, now you can't control other people and you should not go up to people and say, oh, that's really negative. You should change your attitude because then you're going to get in a fight and you're going to piss them off. It starts with you. Live the example. Start showing the world what it's like to be uplifting and positive. And the first thing it will do is make your life better personally. And the people around you will feel that positive energy and you might even negate some of the negative energy in them. And then that, you know, it's just, you got, somebody's got to be first. Somebody's got to start it, right? Might as well be you. Start putting out positive energy. Now, the way to do that, it's really hard for a lot of people because they're, they think they're in this terrible situation. I got no money. I got mortgage. You got kids. I got blah, 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 blah. You know, a million. And like I said, the only the biggest reason for failure is excuses. I already went through this. You know, you can have a million excuses why you're in a sucky situation. But, you know, the successful people have just as many things that are going wrong or whatever, but they don't, they don't complain about it. So it starts with this. How do you see life? What's the filter you see life through? And where does this programming come from? A lot of times it comes from parents. They're negative. All they do is complain. They feel like they're in victim mode. Then it's the, uh, you know, you see it on the news, you hear it on the, you know, that's why the media is, is just avoid the media because it's always looking for neg, you know, the six o'clock news is notorious for having nothing but so-and-so died, this blew up, that person got shot, blah, blah, that's all negative stuff. You know, don't listen to that stuff. Yes, it's happening. Okay, I'm not saying to be in denial of reality. I'm saying to, you know, are you going to choose this or that? Both exist. You might as well choose the positive one. It's going to put more positive energy in it because the more positive energy that's in life, the less the negative energy is going to get fed and it will start to wither and die and the positive energy will start to get stronger. It's like a muscle. Which muscle are you going to build? The positive or the negative? I, you know, the more people build their positive muscles, the more the world becomes positive. And if you're tired of hearing complainers, if you're tired of having your energy sucked and being low energy, think about it. Are you looking at life? If, you, if you're low energy, if you feel drained all the time, where is that? What is draining your energy? Now, yeah, you can eat right and all that. We were, I already talked about that for 10 years. The biggest thing is right here. Is your mind draining you? Is the negative view of the world that you have draining you? If you have a negative view, it is draining you. If you're around people whose view is negative, they are draining you. you if you're listening to the media all the time, you become a zombie. You need to only expose yourself to things that make you feel better and uplift you. Start looking at this. Yeah, you can look at the same thing two different ways. You can look at it as, you know, you can look at garbage and say that's garbage. But a creative artist would say, I could make something really cool out of that. I could make a sculpture out of that garbage and sell it for a thousand dollars. You know, whatever. There's a million ways to look at life. Choose the positive one because that's what's going to give you energy. That's how, what's what gets you out of a rut. Stop waiting for others to get you out of a rut. The only one who's going to do it is you because they're too busy getting themselves out of a rut. Look at life through a positive way. Stop complaining because that's sucking your energy and everybody around you. Get away from the complainers and start showing the world an example of what to do otherwise. Get rid of that programming. That's what's screwing you up is the programming. The programming of looking at every, and, and you know what? Most people don't even realize that they're doing it. They don't realize that every sentence that comes out of their mouth is usually a complaint of some kind. Because the way you are is the way you are. You're not going to be positive half the time and negative half the time. Most people are either positive or negative. That's generally, now there are exceptions, of course, but, you know, and, and I'm not, and sarcasm is not positive. A lot of people do it because they want to be accepted. They think it's funny. I'm going to say something funny and they're going to like me and I'm going to be more, more popular, more relevant because I'm saying something funny. Okay, it's still negative. You're still cutting someone down. You're still making fun of somebody else at their expense. That's not positive energy. It's sure, it's, it's more, it's actually less popular in this world, in America at least, to be positive makes you a weakling, a nerd, someone to make fun of, right? The, what, the positive ones is what everybody makes fun of, and the negative ones are the ones that people think are strong. Well, it takes more strength 
in the beginning to be positive than to be negative because positive people are goody goodies that are picked on all the I know because I was like that my whole life. But I'm successful now and those people that picked on me aren't. So eventually that does pay off. That's not why you do it, but that is a side effect. So it's how you look at life. It's all how you look at life and the programming you have. And if the programming is faulty, you need to change it. So next time you say something, you just, everything you say, just any observation you make during the day, pay attention to it. Were you doing something that's taking energy away? Or were you saying something that's putting energy into the world? One or the other. Energy doesn't just sit there. It, it moves this way or that way. So let's start putting positive energy out there because that's what makes progress in the world happen in a good way. I'll see you in the next video.